So here's the Elephant Trunk Nebula, which I'm just using as an example to show you how good the Esprit 120 ED is in getting round stars right out to the edge of the sensor, to the edge of the image. And here you can see I'm going down to the bottom of this image. I'm using the field flattener, the corrector, on the Esprit 120. I haven't taken any images without it, but in the first three nights using the flattener, you can see I'm getting incredibly good round stars right out to the very edges of the frame, both at the bottom, you'll see going up either the sides and along the top. And given that this is a telescope with a focal length of 860 millimeters on the images I've been taking, I think this is incredible. I'm really stunned and um, amazed at how good the imaging is right out to the edge of each of the pictures that I've been taking. Something I've never been able to get with my uh, Celestron SE6. So I think this is very impressive. And again, you can see I'm going along the, the top here of the elephant trunk. And again, round stars right out to the very edge. And if you go over to the right hand side of the image and come down that side, again, you can see round stars. I've done nothing special to process and but make the stars round. This is just how they've come out from stacking and processing the image. And you can see all the way down here, right out to the side, good round stars. So I guess that's why you spend a lot of money to get the Skywatcher S3 120 ED, but it's certainly delivering from the first three nights I've used it into what I expected. And I think this is definitely gonna be my telescope for the coming galaxy season, and also probably for the whole of 2022.